old strip, I'm here at an old strip mall here in Hillsboro, North Carolina that was once home to Wave Castle Studios in the 90s. And Brian Paulson was a music producer and a recording engineer that recorded many bands here in this place. And it would have been right here where CNR Ski was from what I heard. Well, actually what Brian told me himself. Actually, I contacted him and he told me that it would have been in this very place. So probably, probably it would have occupied this whole area. I'm sure they, I don't know, I guess that, yeah. So this is the same, I guess as. Anyhow, um, a couple of the bands that recorded here that were well known in the 90s were Squirrel Nut Zippers and Ben Folds Five. And both of those bands recorded their first albums here. Their first LPs would have been recorded here. And one of Polvo, who was a Chapel Hill band, Polvo, um, Brian, Paulson um, recorded one of Brian, uh, one of, yeah, Brian Paulson would have recorded one of Polvo's EPs here. Other bands that recorded here would have been Geezer Lake, uh, Family Dollar Pharaohs, which is a surf rock band, uh, kind of like uh, the music you hear in Pulp Fiction. That'd be a good example of of uh, surf rock, you know, the you know when it, the movie first starts. Uh, it's kind of cool to think that Squirrel Nut Zippers and Ben Folds Five and some good bands would have been recording in there. So it would have, yeah. Oh, hey, he has some kayaks. I've been wanting to get a kayak. Also, Brian worked with uh, other musicians, not so much here, but in his career, he worked with Beck and Dinosaur Jr., which I'm a huge fan of both of those groups. He worked with Super Chunk. He, 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 was, uh, he worked with a lot of Chapel Hill Carborough bands. And I'm headed to Chapel Hill now, and uh, I'll show you where Mammoth Records and um, and where uh, Ben Folds Five would have recorded one of their other albums. Thank you for joining me, and thank you, Brian, for letting me know because I was it was I was working my butt off trying to find where the studio was, and I just I just couldn't find it. I'm now in Chapel Hill. We're on the way to find the house that Ben Folds Five recorded their 1997 album, Whatever and Ever Amen, with the hit Brick, which I'm sure you remember, if you lived in the 90s, um, you would have heard it on MTV and on the radio. I, it, it was played all the time. It was a good song. Um, they also had a hit, another hit, a couple other hits on there, but anyway, let's try to find it. That is where Ben Folds 5 would have recorded their album, Whatever and Ever Amen. That is pretty cool to think the song Brick would have been recorded in that very house. She is born upon a couch. This is the Cat's Cradle where Squirrel Nut Zipper's video Hell was filmed. Yep, it was filmed inside this place. One of my favorite videos. What now? Yeah, I assume they're still open. They haven't had any bands in a long time because of the pandemic, but. Wow, it looks so dead now that I. But yeah, inside there, probably just around the corner, they would have. Yeah. Oh, that's Elizabeth Cotton. I actually have one of her albums. She's a blues artist. Oh yeah, man. She she grew up on Lloyd Street where we were just walking. Super oh, dude. 
Dude, um, she was an awesome guitar player, man. She was an awesome guitar player. Southern culture. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, as a matter of fact, they were signed by a record uh, label in Hillsboro. Um, yep, Rock Records on Church Street. That's another, yeah. So so there was Mammoth Records and there's, uh, I can't remember the one in Durham right now. Merge, Merge, and then you have Ma Mammoth. Yeah. So Yep Rock, Mammoth, and Merge. So you had a lot of record labels around this, you know, that time frame. And then Mammoth ended up being bought out by Disney. And so Mammoth Records was over there. Mammoth at one time was across the street in that area, then it moved to um, uh, above uh, car on the second story of Carmel Mall. Which way is the depot? Oh, that way. Yeah. We tried finding the original Mammoth Records, but we couldn't. We didn't have any luck. So, Matt, from what I understand, Mammoth Records would have been there. I think they tore down the building. If somebody knows better, you can let me know but yeah Carborough was a okay. mecca of music in the 90s anyway it's raining pretty good so i'm gonna get off for now